Good afternoon. This is Black Cap Cafe Racer. Well, after today, I'm one step closer to uh, getting to replace some of my motorcycles. Let me fill you in what's happening. Stay tuned. Meerkat. Well, early sometime, early Sunday morning on August 21st, I was just finishing up the ride to kind of bring people up to speed here. Uh, ride with my nephews out in Colorado and my trailer with the two motorcycles the BMW and the Tiger 900 were stolen. So then I started going through the process of police reports notifying the insurance companies and trying to get the all the information that uh, those folks wanted. Well, it turns out that uh, there really wasn't much action that the police were doing that I could see not from the police report that I, that I got, no more than the information I'd originally given them. So I wasn't, I wasn't on a lot of hope of them finding my, my trailer or my motorcycles. And if they did, by each day that went by, it's less likely that they were going to be repairable or usable anymore. So basically, uh, the police didn't even show up to do that. They just took a statement over the telephone. Then um, we loaded up with what we had left, and we left Denver. The good news is the, uh, the van uh, got a lot better gas mileage going back than it did going out there pulling a trailer with two motorcycles. And we didn't have to wash anything when we got back bad news is even though I gave them a recorded statement uh, as we were coming back on the interstate uh, I still had to fill out some paperwork the same kind of paperwork and for each one of the motorcycles listing all the accessories what, where I bought it when I bought it when I put it on you know any kind of receipts that I had I provided um, they wanted to have my telephone records from the day before, the day of, and the day after the theft, which I didn't appreciate very much. And there was just a lot of things that, that you have to uh, uh, get notarized as affidavits, uh, say what you're claiming is truthful and, 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 that, and such. Then all that information then goes from the person you initially contact, it filters to an appraiser. Then, then the appraiser will call you telling you what they're, they're going to provide you as far as the, uh, as the motorcycle that for, your, for each one of your motorcycles and your accessories. And the way you got to that is how? I mean, discounting the accessories and discounting, you know, for this, that, and the other. The NATO Blue Book, I mean, the NATO Book has the prices on those quite a bit higher than what you have. Are, is that just the bikes or do you, are you, or is there anything for the accessories and things that you? That was with all the accessories figured out. Mm. And depending on the insurance companies, they use some sort of, whichever one benefits them most, whether that's in a uh, blue book or NADA or comparables or your area. Uh, but eventually, they're going to come up with some some numbers. They're going to give you the numbers, and I just got those today, and um, it's going to be enough to buy, replace one of the motorcycles completely, and it'll be enough to. This is just for the bike insurance, uh, left over to do some other things, but not not nearly as much. Uh, I can't. Re I'm not going to be able to replace the. 
bikes of with equal value. You know, automatically you're going to lose. Uh, you lose your setup. You lose your freight. You lose your tax. You lose your documentation because you're not basing your the the payoff of the 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 bike that you have on that stuff. They're basing it off their basically your MSRP and what they think your actual in my case actual cash value of the bike would be. So my in, my insurance with the uh, for the trailer was covered by a different insurance company, and I haven't gotten that back, so I don't know what that's going to be. I really appreciate my nephew John's help in uh, sorting through some of the the legal issues here and some advice. Thanks, John. Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.